to paint a simple oil landscape with me. Canvas size, fine grain, rocks. To begin with, we need these colors black ochre, yellow ochre, natural sienna, and titanium white, gray, cobalt violet, and black pen. Take a white brush and visually divide the canvas into two parts, leaving the horizon slightly below the middle. Bring the moment into two. I forgot to take the olive cream paint. Uh, now we mix like ochre with it. It turns out the color of tired grass, a late summer mustard shade. Paint over the bottom of the canvas with vertical strokes. The paint is packed up and mixed manually, so there is no uniformity. Sometimes I add a yellow ochre. It looks like a waterfall painting. We remove unnecessary objects so that the focus remains on the flowers. For example, this tree is too dark. Add more so to the palette and let the fluid paint make the field more interesting. Now add darker spots to the accent field using more olive paint. With a dry brush, like strokes, soften the edges of the spots. With medium yellow paint, lighten some areas. Remember to wipe the brush. Let's go to the sky. We mix paints gray, black and cobalt violet to get the color of a stormy sky. With a clean brush paint the sky in horizontal strokes and I will also keep the gray paint flowing using solvent. Paint three dark areas. We mix terrarium blue with white and with the already prepared color of the stormy sky. Paint the clouds with white. Just some beach paint for the shade and create the cloud shape. Making a soft transition by connecting two colors on the canvas so that they do not take all the attention and leave the picture to dry. Okay. This is the existing wildflowers composition line, but we'll add dynamics and keep the focus here. On the dried layer, for convenience, Outline a drawing of floors with a chalk pencil. For the flowers we use white, yellow medium and natural sienna. Paint with point strokes, adding a shadow sienna paint and a little orange. Oliver green paint Mix with a solvent to get a liquid consistency and paint the stems with a thin brush, not only dark but also light, mixing the paint with white. Outlines of the second high flowers. The inflorescences themselves with small dots of white paint.
bringing the foreground to life. Darken the edges of the sky with the same shade as in the beginning with the addition of black. Well, abstract rain will look modern. Thank you for painting with me.